All right, everyone, here we go. Let's do a Friday reading. Uh, these are always a little odd after the monthly fly-through, but we'll see if we get anything else here. We've got some energies coming in. I'm going to be pulling on Mercury Retrograde probably on Sunday, I would say. Probably. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting Mercury Retrograde. It's a very important Mercury Retrograde. We'll talk about it when we get to that reading. But for right now, we're kind of in the energy of that or the build-up to it. One card for each sign. What are they thinking and feeling? All right, no clarifiers. Pay attention to everything that falls on the table. There's text at the top of the description for anybody new that doesn't know why I don't do timestamps. Oh, I hate that guy. He doesn't do timestamps. Yeah. yeah, that's what you sound like. It's because I know how energy works. That's why and I'm trying to teach you. Everything is energy and everything is connected. You let me worry about what's bouncing off of what, and I will, uh, you just sit back and enjoy the reading, all right? Let's see where we go, or hopefully enjoy it anyway. Let's see where we go here. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Cherry, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless because I am what? Not a fucking time lord. That's right. Okay. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. So any, any energies attached to you is what I put out there. So this could be your mom. This could be your runner. It's whoever you're here for. What are they thinking and feeling? Overall energy of the reading is a knight of pentacles. Fueled by the world. <laughs> uh, this is a knight of pentacles in this new energy that can't stand still I think there's a realization here probably that something needs to be done uh, that came up as a theme throughout in, on some level throughout a lot of the monthly readings so I don't know but I, I know in new energy here this knight starts moving and look at that it wanted to reveal itself an eight of wands forward movement I'm right that just verifies it right there. That's forward movement, communication. Something needs to be done here. Can't stand still. All right. Our story begins with Aries, position one, slice of the pie, my 12 slice pie, and ends in position 12, Pisces. All right. Slice number 12. About nine out of the 12 should resonate with you. Again, it doesn't matter what your sign is. All right. Aries, position one. Uh, page of wands. Yeah. Yeah, somebody feel like they need to do something. Position one always ties to the overall energy. It has to. Somebody feel like they need to do something here, right? That's what they're thinking. They're thinking of ways they can approach, ways they can communicate. Also, for some reason, I've got an energy here of someone feeling a future. I don't know what that means, but perhaps maybe with the energies on their side, they don't see a future. You know, I don't know. That's a good start. Position two, Taurus, nine of cups. Somebody's convincing themselves that they're okay. I get this a lot in position two with this energy. Somebody convincing themselves that they feel okay, that everything's great. I'm doing good. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Well, they, you're the real nine of cups. You're the thing that's making them feel good, but they're convincing themselves in their world that, that they've got it under control, everything's fine like it is. All right? It's a lie, and under this new energy here, it's going to be tough to keep that kind of attitude. <laughs> Position three, Gemini. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say somebody wants a second crack at you but that's not really the energy that's there somebody's pulling up their bootstraps here all right and they're well i mean i have to say it they're they're thinking about approaching i mean that's all i can say we do have an eight of wands here right and underneath that is a butterfly there's transformation coming big transformation people are making choices here now you know, people aren't sticking with the same things, the same whatever. They're making, they're going their own way. Somebody here has, has been a little nervous, I think, but they're pulling up their bootstraps. Kind of a phoenix rising energy. Position four, the hot spot of the connection cycle. Cancerian energy. It bookends the page of wands. Knight of Cups, yeah. yeah there's, a, there's a strong, strong aspect somebody's thinking about approaching. That's what I get. Somebody's thinking about, well, uh, uh. I want to say it's a small gesture. It feels like a gesture, not jester. Small gesture. It feels like a, a, a young knight of cups. Almost borderline page of cups. All right? Oh, because it's bookending this page over here. That's part of the reason why I say that. Uh, yeah. 
Somebody's thinking about ways they can approach. That seems to be the theme on the top row, except for this one, this, the holdout here, isolating itself. All right. Maybe too much ego here holding them back. This sign might want to pay attention to their monthly reading and what I said. I don't remember what I said, but I'm sure that ties to it in some way. Uh, Leo, position five, the Leo soap opera. Three of Wands. Somebody's thinking about approaching. What are they thinking and feeling? They're, they're looking your way. I mean, this is just the theme. This is just what's happening here in the soulmate cycle right now. Why? Well, our overall energy tells us why. In this new energy, the most powerful card I can pull, the world, underneath it, massive forward movement and, and lazy ass knight of pentacles here that's been stopped like a deer in the headlights. Can't stand there. Gotta move or the truck's gonna hit. I mean, people are making decisions here. There's no doubt. Okay. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if you heard from this person. We'll see tomorrow in the weekly reading what actions they're likely to take, but I will tell you what. Uh, Virgo, positions, I don't remember the monthly reading here. I don't remember any of the monthly readings. I washed them after I was done. That's a tough fly through this particular month. There was a lot of energy. Um, Virgo, position six, sometimes the wild card, sometimes you guys show up here. I don't know. King of Swords. Somebody's realized the truth about themselves as it relates to you, okay? And I don't think it makes them too happy. I don't, even in spite of the, I mean, the, the your, your energy is attached to the sword, the rainbow aspect of it, I can say that. But all I can say here is you have an energy attached to you that's realized the truth about themselves as it relates to you, and I don't think they like it much, all right? Ties probably to the monthly reading. Okay, because you guys are kind of showing up here a little bit. Ties mostly to the monthly overview reading where I talked about the barn owl and the great horned owl. They look at, they thought they were great horned owl, look in the mirror and realize they're barn owl, a little smaller, a little page, right? It's a bit of that, all right? Um, good, maybe they'll do something. It is my king of action. It's possible we'll see tomorrow what actions they're likely to take. And we clarify that reading, so that's always helpful. Uh, Libra, position seven. Uh, three of Pentacles. I'm being very careful here. Because the reading to me, as the energy reflects off the table, feels a little rainbow unicorn. And I'm always skeptical of that. All right, Because that's not how life is. That's not real. You know? So I'm diving to dig a little deeper here in these. Um, Okay, I'm just going to say it. Somebody's thinking about being your friend. Now, I'm not sure. That's the way it reads. And I'm not sure what that means. Somebody's thinking about being your friend. What? Did I, it, it's a weird energy. I, it's one card here so far that I wish I could clarify, but I'm not going to break my rule and, not, and, and clarify it here. But it's sort of like it's almost, you should almost take that as an insult. Like this person seems to think that they're high and mighty and it's like some sort of thrill or, or privilege to be their friend or something. I don't know. But that's what I get. It's honest at the very least. If it makes sense to you, fine. If it doesn't make sense to you, consider the fact that you're unaware of who, who I'm talking about here. Okay? At least give me the benefit of the doubt there. That's a tough energy. Somebody thinking about being your friend. Or thinking about a partnership with you, it could be that. Or thinking about banging you, it could be that too. They're just, but I read it more as thinking about being your friend. I'm almost taken aback by it a little bit. Uh, hot Scorpio, <laughs> position eight, eight of cups. Um, someone's thinking that they messed things up with you. And that's what they're thinking and feeling about you right now. That they mess things up. And they don't blame you for moving on. Mm, that's just what they're thinking. Uh, again, keep in mind, I ask the universe, any and all energies attached to you. You may not be aware who I'm talking about, but you probably be aware of somebody who fucked things up with you and, you, and might not blame you for moving along. Okay, this could be somebody you didn't get along with, too. It could be that. Sagittarius, my sexitarian, sometimes separate from the cycle, uh, sometimes part of it, a death card. Wow. Um, you're just, your energy is attached to this here. Um, something's coming back, okay? Something you thought you resolved, you took care of, is coming back. I, I, rather than say something, I'm going to say someone. Someone you thought you were rid of might 
be thinking about coming back. Okay? Now I'm asking what they're thinking and feeling. Somebody wants to try again. Some, but it's something that in your mind, I believe, you sort of took as dead, done, and over. Okay? Take it how you want. That's what's there. All right. Capricorn, position 10. Ah, uh, Page of Pentacles. You got a conversation coming with somebody. You do. I know I've said that to you before. It's just what's here. It's the communication aspect of the Page of Pentacles. Um, I think what somebody's thinking and feeling right now is they don't know what to say to you. That's what I think. They have no idea what to say. It's feedbacking off of the Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay? So, all that applies here. So, I'll give it to you that way. Okay? Uh, I would expect some communication from this. I don't remember your monthly reading, but that looks pretty good to me for that. Um, somebody might be nervous. It's possible. I could, I could pick up on the nerves a little bit. Uh, my other wild card spot, position 11, Aquarius position. It could be you guys showing up here. It could be the incoming energy. I don't know. Knight of Wands, it's incoming energy. Uh, you might, you have a lot of incoming energy coming towards you. Okay? Um, get ready for it. It's an onslaught. It's more than one. It's like you went to Snake Island. Okay, there's a snake on the card, right? It's like you went to Snake Island. I mean, it's an onslaught. Right? It's an island where people aren't allowed to live. It's called Snake Island. It's got one of the most poisonous snakes in the world. There's like thousands of them that live on it. The last person to live there got killed by the snakes. You know, they, they came in through the cracks in the windows and stuff and killed them off. Um, you know, it's like you're on Snake Island. You got people, I don't mean it in a bad way in that case. I mean, you just got a lot of energies coming towards you. Pay attention to what I said in your monthly reading. I think it was a very important monthly reading. Um, they're not even thinking, I'm asking what they're thinking and feeling. They're not even thinking and feeling anything. They're just doing it without any thought or anything. There's nothing here. It's just forward movement. And it's a lot of snakes. I'm being attacked by snakes right now. Okay. Um, it's just, I'm just saying snake because it's snake on the card. I don't mean it's negative, you know, devil energies or anything like that. Pisces, position 12. Always read with position 1 and 5 for some reason. So, so far, which I only half figured out. Uh, so far, we got a knight of, uh, page of wands and a three of uh, wands. Nine of swords. Yes, that same shit I got in your monthly reading. Somebody here just keeps getting in their own way. I don't. I swear to God, you've got an energy attached to you that thinks the world of you. They have put you on a goddamn pedestal so high, it's it's mind blowing. All right, um, they're looking your way. We'll find out what actions they're going to take. The good news is it's a nine nines of the end in tarot, and I I'm hoping this goes to ten swords or something like that. We you have in this angle, okay? Doesn't matter what your sign is. If you identify with this angle, okay, um, this energy has been taking a long time. It's the slowest approaching energy of any of the cards on the table, of any of the angles of the soulmate cycle. It really is. All right. Let's grab the witches. Let's see, which randomly at the bottom as a death card. That, that means, by the way, why I showed you that and why I pointed to that is this applies to more of you than just Sagittarius. I know I still get people here that think, well, I'm not a Sagittarius, so I'm not going to pay attention to that. Doesn't fucking matter. Okay? It does not matter. I'm splitting the soulmate cycle into 12 pieces. Uh, there's a lot of you, a high percentage that identify with what I said here. That'll be a very interesting pull tomorrow in the uh, weekly reading. What action's coming at you? Alright, let's have the universe add all this up. Three cards and a bottom card. Add it up, universe. What's, what's the incoming energies? Energies attached to my viewers. Any of them. Thinking and feeling. If you had to add it up in three cards and a bottom card, which you do, because I asked, what would you say? Alright, let's see. <laughs> the bottom card is the chariot. Yeah, which represents this soulmate cycle for me. It's Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy is the host energy of this soulmate cycle. The North Node was in Cancer when it began. That sets the theme. That's the party theme that we're all in here. Very emotional. Very tough. We have a lot of runner fire signs or a lot of runners with fire in their chart running for the hills. Um, it ties to exactly what I said in the uh, uh, overall energy, you know. 
It, it, under this energy, they can't just sit there a deer in the headlights. There's action coming here. Um, they're all thinking about coming here. I mean, we have forward movement in the environmental energy. So thinking about it and moving towards you at the same time. And there's your Knight of Wands. All right, there you go. Which I Freudian slipped when I was talking about Pisces and pointed out over here. I accidentally called that briefly a Knight of Wands. There it is. The Knight of Wands. I felt the energy here. It's powerful energy. Um, yeah, incoming. 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 This card is crossing whatever this card is. Ace of Swords. They all want to... Oh, wow. Do I want to say that? Hold on. Uh, I want to say it. It sounds crazy town. Um, but it does, it's not surprising in April's energy, you know, which is kind of what we're heading into. Uh, they all want to tell you the truth. They all are, are coming with the truth. Now, the problem is the Knight of Wands. Okay, I'll pull the third card in a minute, which is red with the Knight of Wands. But uh, the problem is the Knight of Wands, which is an in and out energy, right? They come in fast, they get out fast, that kind of thing. So it's... It's, yeah, they're all coming with the truth, but because it's not a lie, if it was a lie, they'd probably hang around you longer. All right? So the energies are coming in, saying what they need to say, and not really giving you a chance to respond to those sort of things. That's what they're hoping. That's the sort of hope that's in the energy, is that they can just say it and, and, and get it out, whatever it is they want to say. Whoever these energies are that are attached to you, it could be a runner. Right? I don't know. I don't have name tags on the energy. Could be John, could be Pete, could be Sally, could be Sue. I don't fucking know. Could be a family member, somebody you know about, somebody you don't know about. What's red with the Knight of Wands? The Five of Wands. Exactly what I said. Backing up every word I said. Right? They, they're, very, they're coming in, but they're all up in their head. They just hope they can get this through without any kind of argument. They want to come in. They want to tell the truth. I'm just going to phrase it this way. Because right? the Five of Wands obviously can be arguing either internally inside our head or with another person, that kind of thing, conflict, right? So, I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. That's why I waited. It has more impact when I wait. Um, so you've got sort of someone here who's got something to say, and it might cause a fight, but they're going to get out so fast that it doesn't cause a fight. That's what they're all thinking about doing, right? Come in, get out. Tell the truth, get out. And I have that here with this fast energy of the chariot as well. Okay? That's your reading. That's the Friday reading. I love the Friday reading. It's, it's very helpful for me in studying the soulmate cycle, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, tomorrow, we'll pull same thing, which I'll have to repeat myself at the beginning of the reading again. But whatever. We'll pull the same thing. We'll ask what actions these energies are taking, are likely to take, and we'll clarify. All right? And on Sunday, we're going to do the uh, Mercury Retrograde reading, which should be very interesting. Um, that's it. It's, it's an important retrograde. It, it, it's, uh, it, well, anyway, we'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right. Good luck.